Vince McMahon was on crutches at the WrestleMania 34 press conference in New Orleans. This was the first time Vince was seen on crutches, and many wondered why. Some speculated that it was because Vince McMahon's age was catching up with him, or was due to an illness. Vince is 71 years old. However, the truth is that Vince secretly had hip surgery, much like The Undertaker's. After The Undertaker's hip operation, he was also on crutches. Rumors have been swirling about Brock Lesnar possibly joining the SmackDown brand in early to mid-2017. Lesnar is appearing at non-televised SmackDown Live events, leading to more speculation that it's only a matter of time before he's officially traded or drafted to SmackDown, which may happen after WrestleMania. Alberto Del Rio is now officially a part of the Impact Wrestling roster and wrestled at their March tapings and backstage with him was his fiance Paige. Paige's contract isn't up with WWE until 2019. If she had her way, she would want to be where her future husband is in Impact Wrestling. In January of 2017, a fan reported that he encountered a nasty and mean Randy Orton at a gym in Arkansas. The fan asked for an autograph while Randy was trying to finish his workout, and he turned down the autograph request from the fan. This altercation, as well as past stories, seem to point to evidence that Randy is mean to fans, and no one should approach him. However, this doesn't seem to be the case as Randy is more than happy to sign autographs and pose for pictures with fans, and this one incident in Arkansas is not the norm, and the rumor of him being unapproachable is definitely not true. As seen at the 2017 Royal Rumble, The Undertaker was not in the best shape. He gained some weight and looked like he was on wobbly legs. This is mainly due to his hip surgery in 2016, and he wasn't fully recovered from it, which led to some fans to ask whether it's time for him to hang up his wrestling boots. Rumors are circulating that WrestleMania 33 will be the last for The Undertaker, as he is no longer able to compete with younger, quicker talent, not to mention that he now needs a full hip replacement. Is Rusev being punished by the WWE? There is some evidence as of late that points to this possibly being the case. In February, he posted a tweet about Jack Swagger, who is quitting the WWE and possibly not on good terms. Rusev wrote, The man that almost broke my ankle. A few times. Very strong and always creative. Good fight. Adding more fuel to the fire, Rusev shocked WWE top brass by cutting his hair without letting them know first. Also, WWE has been cutting Rusev's TV time, and he got buried by the big show at Fastlane. Could 2017 be the last year for Rusev in the WWE? Only time will tell. Everyone knows that the Hardys recently signed with Ring of Honor, but rumor has it that the deal is short term, for as little as one month. Matt Hardy also trademarked the name Broken Matt Hardy, which means he would only want to play that character everywhere he goes. WWE is panicking as each week it seems that there are more and more CM Punk chants from crowds and fan signs. When Monday Night Raw was in the hometown of CM Punk, Triple H called Seth Rollins' doctor the best in the world. The best in the world is what CM Punk calls himself, showing that he is well aware of the current tension between audiences and the WWE. One of the reasons why Kevin Owens has had a rather quick ascent in the WWE is because he's not afraid to speak his mind to the powers that be, namely Triple H and Vince McMahon. He says what's on his mind, whenever and to whoever, without fear of repercussions, thus allowing him to share his ideas and reject the ones that he doesn't like. Many wrestlers do what they are told and don't want to rock the boat, so they keep their mouths shut and their head down in fear of losing their spot and being buried. Rumor has it that Nikki Bella is planning to leave WWE sometime in 2017. Nikki's sister Brie is pregnant, and Nikki is not content to just be an aunt. She wants to be a mother. She is currently 33, so she knows that she only has a short time to have children of her own. The question is whether John Cena agrees with her, and if he is ready to be a father with his current workload in the WWE and in Hollywood.